what's nice about these intelligence conveyance systems is this particular one is just an example. You could actually make your cart, your puck, whatever you want it to be. We have one client where actually on top of this cart, they put a small conveyor and then this marries up to another conveyor and they use it to transfer goods. The rail system can also be different depending upon your environment. If you're worried about you need to have a washdown environment or you're worried about spills, you build your rail what's custom to you. So when we really say intelligent and flexible conveyance, it's intelligent because the system also has built-in anti-collision. So I can put my hand here and I can stop this and the other carts are gonna know, hey, something's wrong. This system's not moving and I'm not gonna let that through. But now let's say I let this cart through and now I have another stop. Well, the rest of the system can keep working. Where in tra traditional conveyor systems, the entire system would have to stop when you have one problem. So that's the other thing that makes it unique. You also have the ability, depending on the size of payload, the arrangement of how you want to put it together, it's like building blocks. If you ever played with your kids with uh, Legos or with Connects, you put it together in what you need for your application. You can use it for uh, filling lines, bottling lines, whether you want to use it for sorting, for repackaging. It really is the next generation of thinking about conveyance versus your traditional chain or belt conveyors. It allows flexibility based on We've got straight modules, curved modules, and if you can see, we've got switches that can control where the pucks flow. The idea is to provide intelligent conveyance so that the product can go to areas where value can be added. Right, so in material handling, that could be a, a different uh, induct, it could be a divert, it could be wherever you need the product to go based on a package size. So as we get customers that require a variety of package customization, we can, we can tailor to two cans, four cans, purple cans, white cans, whatever you want. We can bring out the value. We can also say, we can do quality control. So if you take a product out, you'll see our vision system allows it to understand that there's something not correct with that puck. That could be it's missing a package, it's missing a part, or it, does, it has too many. And it'll, we, we were taken offline. But, so this allows the, the operation to continue, so that increases your throughput, so that while the, the product is worked or maintained or corrected, and then put back into production. So that the linear motors can accelerate things very quickly. There's no contact, so it reduces wear. You don't have to worry about things like grease and, and oils to maintain the product, so it's safe in a lot of environments. It's also clean, so it's, it's allowed in semiconductor manufacturing as well. The product itself is available in multiple sizes. As you can see here, this is one of our smaller sizes. It has a two kilogram payload, but we go up to thousands of pounds of, of, of load. It works with our Rockwell controller and a lot of libraries that we provide to in integrate their use into Studio 5000. So here's an example of using flexible conveyor system in addition with a traditional conveyor system. So the totes are moving around independently and they're finding the most optimal place to marry up with the traditional conveyor system. So when you're thinking about your facility, think about where your throughput challenges are. Do you have a place in your conveyor system where you're not getting the capacity you want? And maybe it's just that part of your conveyor system that you could upgrade to a flexible conveyance system as an option to increase throughput.